In this video, I'm going to show you how to look for literary criticism related to Albert Camus and the Plague, and also Eula Biss and On Immunity. And by literary criticism, we mean um, research on the author and their works. So the first one we'll look at is Albert Camus and the Plague. And if you look on this left-hand column, you'll see that we've recommended some keyword searches you can use, really simple ones. Um, and also some resources. So there'll be more literary criticism on Camus than on Eula Biss because the plague was written longer ago. Camus has already been determined to be an important author and philosopher. So there's more stuff on him than on Eula because she is still alive and hasn't written as much and it hasn't been determined whether or not she's important or not, right? So the first place I'm gonna start for Camus and the Plague is a database called Literature Resource Center. If you're at home at this time, you might be asked to um, provide a login, and that would just be your username and password that you use for Canvas. So I'm just going to do a simple search in this database. I'm going to look for the plague, and I'll make sure that I put Camus' name in there to narrow it to this particular novel um, that we're reading, right? So I'll click on that, and I'll get a set of results. So I have literature criticism, which is, you know, um, an essay about the work, the book, the characters in it. I have biography of Camus, topic and work overviews. We talk about themes throughout his work, reviews and news, and then primary sources, literary works, and multimedia. So if the first one, if I look at, is something called Critical Essay on the Plague. This looks pretty interesting to me. If I scroll down, I can see that it's about Teru. And if this is something that's going to help you with your topic, what you can do is you can send it to yourself, download it, print it, and you can also get the citation by clicking that link and it'll give it to you in MLA citation style. Right. Um, Gale literature is going to work very similarly. So will Salem literature. So you would both all, with all of those because they're books, you want to do a very basic kind of search for the work and the author. And then we're looking at something called Academic Search Complete. We start getting into our article databases. So Academic Search Complete is a huge database, kind of like the uh, super Walmart of databases. Um, so it's got things for a bunch of different disciplines. So in this situation, you want to make sure that you specify that you're looking for Camus and the Plague. But you could also talk about like Camus, the Plague, and Pandemic, for example and you would get some information or articles related to how the plague, this book, relates to the COVID-19 pandemic, for example. Right, so here's one, the pandemic in Camus' plague that looks really good. Reflections on the characters um, in Camus' the plague in consideration of human suffering during the pandemic. So this database, like I said before, has a lot of stuff in it. Some things we own, some things we don't. So to keep from being sad, if you limit to full text by using this little checkbox over here, you will be limited to the things that we own. If there is something that looked good, like this one, for example, if I click on the title, it's going to give me the abstract, which is a summary of the article. And if that sounds interesting, um, I would then click on this PDF to the full text over here on the left. And at this point, I can, if I can use these little menu icons on the right hand side, I can download it to Google Drive or Microsoft Drive. I can email it to myself, save it. I can print it. And if I click this little um, orange icon right here that looks like a piece of paper, it will give me the citations in a variety of styles, including our friend MLA right there. We also have a link to JSTOR and Project Muse, which are two other article databases that specialize in academic literature. So um, they'll have stuff on literary criticism. And I've also provided a link to the library's catalog. Our catalog is how you can find all of our books, ebooks, videos, etc. So if I wanted to find out more about Camus or maybe even read something that he'd written, I can just do a simple search in this database for Camus. 
and I will get, you know, 155 results, for example, which will include, you know, books that he wrote himself where he's the author, right? Which could be really interesting. It also includes um, some videos. And to get to anything that is um, online or electronic, all you would need to do is click on the link right here and it'll take you to a place where you can log in and, and watch the film. Like I said earlier, Hula Biss is a contemporary author, so there's going to be less criticism on her. And so you can see the list of sources that we're recommending is shorter. So Academic Search Complete, because it has, it includes all kinds of popular magazines and journals. You'll find information on Eula and the book on immunity there. Literature Resource Center does have an article on her. Um, so you can learn about her as an author. It also has an essay on, on immunity. Project Muse had some research, and then I've also given you a link to U.S. Major Dailies, which is our newspaper database, because the book was written rather recently. Um, she is a contemporary or living author, and so you're going to find a lot of information or reviews of her book, which is, you know, how we criticize you know, um, things that are published right away. Um, if you do a search like this, Eula Biss and on immunity in the newspaper database. And you can see that you've got um, some, some articles here. So here's one about vaccine hesitancy, Ezra Klein is recommending it. There's another book review right here. Um, where they're going to talk about her book. And just like with the other databases, you can download, cite, email, print, etc. So I hope these resources help you with your research. And if you need help finding something or you get frustrated in using these sources, don't forget to click this little link here on the right to chat with a librarian and we can help you out right away.